Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender episode number 15 and 16. Alright, the previous two episodes we uh, Aang got captured and surprisingly, not surprisingly, you can probably like you know, we can probably actually understand by the end of it why um, you know, like why uh, Zuko helped Aang and like there's a lot of things happening in the background and in a way this also shows us how both of them both ang and zuko are basically the same if they had like met in different circumstances they would have probably been good friends and just because of their you know the places they have been born in and like you know their uh you know circumstances they have to fight each other so ang also kind of said in the end that like you know maybe if there were some other circumstances and he also kind of explained uh, the whole thing with like I was friends with a Fire Nation person and then like after so long now I see he's in the enemy like you know like he's my enemy now after so 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 many days like how it actually feels to be in that position seeing like you know your friends actually being your enemies now after uh, so m many years uh, later all that stuff like it's kind of sad the whole situation was kind of sad and I don't know like I have a feeling that maybe Zuko is going to you know change as like time goes on and maybe he'll join us like it has like uh, like there is a big possibility of that happening here because I don't know I get this feeling that Zuko will probably by the end of it say that nah I don't care about the fire nation anymore I'm going to do my own thing and i'm going to do what i think is right something like that <laughs> who knows and the next episode episode number 14 was a little funny little episode you know like it's kind of like an entertaining episode and nothing much to talk about that like the whole village with all that like you know fortune selling stuff and all and <laughs> that was like an entertaining like you know little break that we had so yeah that was it so let's get started this is episode number 15 of after the last airbender so without further ado Let's get started. All right, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and uh, let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, the first season, I think it has 20 episodes and this is the 15th episode. I'll also react to the 16th episode in this video. So we're almost at the end, kind of. Okay, let me take this off to avoid spoilers. Uh. Okay, Bato of the Water Tribe. Oh, are we finally going to go, go to the Water Tribe? Are we at the North Pole now or? Hmm, made really well, I have to say. Oh, she, he's remembering stuff from his childhood. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, some arrows. What are those? Hmm. Oh. Wow. Detective Saka. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, there's... 
Oh, it's a water tribe boat. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's so chill, I love it. Um What the What the hell? Who is this lady? Hello, you're breaking stuff here. You're intruding in my property. Whoa, what what is this creature that's Who is this link? Shishu. Whoa. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Okay. Saka's on night duty. Yeah. Oh, it's just that, okay. Hmm. There you go. I kind of like thought that Saka will, was because Saka remained in the village because of obviously because he's young and at the same time to help Katara. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. Acquaintance. Damn, he's bandaged all over. Oh, okay. Earth Kingdom. Why is he here then? Oh, so they have a hideout, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Oh, they believe them quite easily. Like some people does does not believe them whenever they say that he's the avatar. <laughs> Um uh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Ang. Arctic Hippo. Oh my god, Momo's also not liking it. <laughs> um, Ang is feeling lonely now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, they have they have been like you know not. Oh my god. Whoa. So she's a fire tribe member, I'm guessing. Yeah, m most probably. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice follow up. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> yeah, short. <laughs> okay. Huh. Yeah, she won't do that because Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now she'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, this thing is scary. Hmm. Um, aren't we supposed to go to the... Well, yeah, they, they, they have not seen their dad for so long, so I, can, I don't blame them. Uh, well, okay, there you go. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I thought it was. Oh, is this the letter that father's? Yeah, there you go. Um, don't. Oh no! Yeah, I thought he would do something like this. Uh. Well, can't blame him. He's still a kid, you know. Even though he's hundreds of years old. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh <laughs> Yeah. Okay, it it's here. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, milk is fine. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. You're littering, yeah. There you go. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh yeah, why not do it now? Oh god, yeah, they're here. Okay. Oh, they're, they're at the... Um, I forgot. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, this guy's... <laughs> you know, he's...
No, rock dodge. Or I'm not sure what these are. Hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Trust and trust. Oh boy. Oh. Oh god. Okay, it's going well. Yeah. Oh, they they're able to pass it. Nice. Oh my god. Yeah. How? Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> wow. Well, this was possible because Ang is uh, airbender, you know, it's the after. You are you are performed yourself. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh boy, Hang is going to feel guilty now. Yeah. Well, if, if, yeah, if, if, if give it now. It's Ah, uh, boy. Okay. Ah. Damn. One thing, like, even if they find Katara, like, they won't be able to find Aang now. Like, that's one thing. Like, they're going to come here, obviously. Like, there you go. Oh, great. Yeah, now, like, Aang is not with them now, so. <laughs> the f like, they just barged in <laughs> and then went out. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's also remembering that. Hmm. Mm, yeah. 
Okay, thank God he he got informed of that. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, great. Oh. Oh my god, there's there's the new smell, blue smell. Oh my god, again! You're breaking the doors, god damn it! <laughs> it's confused. Oh there there. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, I should not laugh, poor thing. Oh, Appa's here, damn. <laughs> Appa's mad. Okay, well. And here we go again. Oh. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, I'm just a spectator. I'll do nothing." Oh, wait, what was that? Oh my God! A paralyzed. Oh no, paralyzed him. Oh my god, Appa's mad. Appa's real mad. Oh! Oh no, it's palace again. Oh! Okay. Oh boy. Oh! Whoa, that was nice. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Wow. <laughs> oh, he, he nabbed it. Come on, you know. <laughs> you, you, you must pay for stuff. <laughs> Oh, there's a necklace. Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, some high level martial arts. Oh, uh, oh, nice! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Oh. <laughs> Wow! Fantastic! That was that was intelligent. <laughs> oh God! Oh! Okay. Yeah. Paralyzed. Oh, haha, <laughs> nice. Okay. Oop. Okay, she's going to use her water bending. Nice, there you go. <laughs> well, he's basically blind now. Yeah, there you go. As I said, like, he only senses the smell. Oh! 
Wait, her name is June. Okay. Oh boy. <sighs> oh God, you know. Oh, he had the... Uh... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the end. Yep, that's it. All right. Um, okay, so first of all, this episode, this episode really makes us like, you know, actually realize that Aang is not like, you know, Aang, obviously Aang is the avatar, but that does not mean he is uh, like, you know, he is perfect in every, like, you know, uh, in each and everything. Like we can see the actual, <coughs> like, you know, like problems that not like not only uh, like ang like every human being kind of face like this whole thing of like you know insecurity and uh what do you call, call loneliness uh envy all these kind of things and he's not exempt from that just because he's an avatar and and as also it actually makes us realize another thing that ang is just a kid ang obviously ang ang ang's age is more than 100 years but that does not mean that he has matured that much because he was basically sealed in ice for so long so it was just that his life was on pause for this so many years and then it again started playing so like like age does not equal to experience actually living your full age equals to experience so he did not live his life for all this time he was just paused in time all like you know all these hundred years so that actually means that his mental age is also that of a young child and that that shows that he is bound to be a little bit of insecure a little bit of what do you call it envious about a few things because uh like even though katara and saka they have not seen their father for so long they still have a family like they know that there is a family for them they know that somewhere in this world their father is there and they can go to their father and meet him and it will be as good as before but ang does not have that ang knows that there is no one for him all his tribe members everyone is gone so the only family members that he thinks uh you know that he what do you call it has accepted are Saka and Katara now if suddenly he sees them actually having second thoughts of act you know going like their main objective is going to throughout like you know going to the journey going to the North Pole and uh, for Aang to master the water bending and also Katara as well but if he suddenly sees them actually having second thoughts about that and uh, you know he thinks that yeah maybe they're going to leave me and go to their dad he's bound to get a little bit of insecure because he has no one else except them so that kind of like you know made him take a wrong decision here and <clears throat> he kind of messed up a little bit now one thing I was not expecting is them actually reacting that much. You know, like when Ang gave, I thought like when Ang gave them the paper, like I think like it was just one day, like he gave the paper one day late. But I thought that they would just be like, oh, like you have that, they would get angry, they would kind of sulk, they would be mad at him. 
something like that they probably won't talk with him i thought these were going to happen but i did not expect them suddenly saying that like especially saka saying that oh like well then like you know that's it like we'll go on our way like uh, we won't help you anymore i did not expect that but i can kind of see that kind of reaction at the same time because it's a dad actually like they have the like like you know Saka and Katara they have seen the dad so long ago and I think the thing that actually not pissed but kind of made them really mad at Ad uh, and Ang is the fact that even though <clears throat> like you know their dad is such an integral part of their um life and they they miss their dad even though all of like you know, even though th those things Ang also knows he still decided to keep the map a secret for them i think that probably made them a little bit mad with ang so yeah so they kind of like you know reacted like that but by the end of it when they actually go are going away and bato tells them about you know how it feels like to be the one left behind saka also kind of realizes that like yeah i'm also at the same position how I was left behind and dad like went to the war and he kind of compared that feeling with what ang is probably feeling now and that that most probably made him rethink his decision in the end because as i said like even though <clears throat> they were left behind saka and katara were left behind they they know that their dad loves them they know that their dad is there somewhere in this world somewhere you know in this world he is there and he will come back in the end and they also know that even though my dad is not here we have other family members for example saka has katara 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 has saka and when they were in their village they had the villagers know their grand grand and all of the other villages and all so even though they were lonely they were not alone in that sense whereas ang if if like you know saka saka and katara really leaves him ang will really be alone like that's like the biggest um what do you call it difference here so yeah like like it, it's kind of more like so that's why that's most probably why ang got a little bit desperate here and uh, yeah okay that was the whole thing with ang and another uh, thing i should mention here is like we get a new character her name is june isn't it yeah and uh, so i'm guessing she's like a mercenary or something like probably someone from the fire nation i don't know like uh, yeah she most probably is a mercenary because the way she does stuff like she got hired by <coughs> zuko and by Zuko, so that probably means that she's a mercenary. And uh, yeah, and her the way she fought was kind of what do you call it? Mm, kind of uh, what can you say? Like it's a little bit of an annoyance especially towards like for ang and them because they were const constantly paralyzing them uh, like by the end of it appa was barely able to even move so <clears throat> that was like one of the biggest problem here otherwise through like you know like comparing to raw strength obviously appa and all of them were more stronger than ju and um like Zuko versus Ang, they're kind of like similarly matched, but in the end, Ang kind of did a little bit of, uh, you know, used his uh, intelligence a little bit, and it was, it went in favor of Ang, and that was a really impressive like move that he did, you know, like he snatched the um, necklace, and then he <laughs> jumped into the well, and Zuko thought that okay, like he jumped into the well, let me just shoot a fireball in. But little did he know that Ang just did not just jump in the well. He jumped into the well and used her his fire bending power to boost up the water. Or maybe he used his water bending power to do that. Most probably, I like you know mixture of that, you know, and boost it up. So <laughs> the fireball did not even reach Ang. But like as like you know, Zuko was kind of leaning into it. 
<laughs> he got blasted out by that uh, force and uh, another smart thinking by um, what do you, uh, like katara and saka is that they used the perfume to actually mask the smell not mask the smell and completely like made the beast go into a frenzy because obviously the beast was kind of uh, kind of blind and he on he or she only relied on the smell so yeah like suddenly so much perfume in in the nose and like he's bound to get frenzy like that and he's kind of freaked out and went away <laughs> and like i love the fact that you did not <laughs> do anything here and like you know he is like the neutral uh, what do you call it like the neutral referee he was just like you know standing here seeing the sights uh like you know kind of <laughs> taking some perfumes for himself or maybe who knows maybe he took it to like you know present it to june or something i don't know like he just, just nabbed that perfume <laughs> in the middle of a fight which was happening like i'm sure if uh, ido like you know decided to fight they would have probably defeated all of them like i'm talking about ang and katara and saka they were like you know the uh, zuko ido and june would have probably defeated them and captured them then and there so thankfully he did not do anything so yeah i'm sure he thought that okay this is like a fight between the young ones like i'm a like you know old man i i should probably stand here and you know <laughs> see everything like kind of uh uh what do you call it you know like act as a spectator or maybe he was just like least bothered to do anything <laughs> either of it but it was nice you know to actually see him not interfering in the battle otherwise they would have lost like that's a big thing and i also uh, like the fact that zuko did not even say anything about that you know like i thought maybe zuko would kind of get angry in the end and say that what the hell uncle like you did not even help me but he said nothing about that so i like that also shows us how zuko is also very much uh, you know uh, what do you call it uh, uh, honorable prideful dutiful about his things because he knows that he has to capture ang himself so he does not expect anyone else to help him like that's another thing we can see about zuko here because he does not say anything to uncle here he does not say anything to uh, ido here he could have said that like uncle you you should have helped us but he did not say anything about something anything like that so that's another thing so yeah and what else <clears throat> yeah that's it so maybe in the, in the future we'll meet uh, the dad you know maybe uh, saka and um, katara obviously ang will also be there we'll meet the dad and they'll have the reunion <coughs> probably i'm not sure maybe in this i'm not, not most probably this season we won't have that probably in the next season or something who knows so yeah they said that they're in the, he, he's in the earth kingdom so most probably when they start journeying towards the earth kingdom maybe they'll meet them there or something that's, that's probably going to happen in the next season or something like that so yeah so that's it that was episode number 15 yeah 15 and <clears throat> In the end, Aang also got back the necklace. That's another good thing that happened. So, yeah, all's well that ends well, I guess. So, all right, that was episode number fifteen. So let's get started with episode number sixteen. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown: three, two, one, go. excuse me oh one thing i forgot to mention is <clears throat> the previous episode episode number 15 uh i really liked the whole fighting sequence you know the way they fought it was really what can i say mm, impressive in a way because the way they fought it actually okay i think i should probably just a sec 
yeah let me take this off so yeah what i was saying like the way they fought it really showed us how like you know it's like they were like doing a dance like you know like ang was kind of you know punching and at the same time he was dodging this that this that and it's a really nice like you know like the type of fight that you actually see in like some martial arts tournament and stuff like uh like like I, I know that these are okay the deserter like these fighting styles are like someone mentioned these fighting styles are some martial arts from different places so actual martial arts that exist okay anyways let's see this menu fire days festival fire Um, is that a, yeah, good idea? Oh, great. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, you should probably make a di disguise or something. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god who was that hmm oh nice oh my god poor appa <laughs> oh my god Is, will this be enough no, this won't be enough. I guess. Oh my god, who is this? Okay. You can wear masks. Yeah, yeah, you, you can wear a mask. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that that will be better. But you need to take the masks off to eat. Fire flakes. <laughs> oh my god, the masks have a place to put food in. <laughs> oh, little... Play. I guess that's that. <laughs> oh, there, there he is. Like, no, they're doing some kind of demonstration or some oh some magic trick don't open your mask ang uh okay hmm <laughs> oh great <laughs> Oh, it's that guy who's been following them. Um. I hope so. <clears throat> oh, great. Wow. Um. Oh no. Oh. Um. Your mask, Ang. Your mask is off. Oh, great.
Yeah. Oh, he's one of... Okay, he's helping us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Whoa. Um, dead end. Oh, the fireworks. Oh, Appa's here. Nice. Haha. <laughs> okay. And the last fight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay, who is this guy? Oh. Jay. What? What? <laughs> yeah okay yeah you can <laughs> oh my god um i think Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh god. Who the hell are you? Oh, great. What? Oh, then... <laughs> oh, boy. They don't trust him at all. Hmm. Yeah, I hope so. I think he's kind of a little bit crazy, you know? The guy who saved them. The way he talks and everything. Oh my god, Zhao is here. Oh god. Yeah! <laughs> oh god. Hmm. What did Zhao... That was Zhao Zhao, wasn't it? Zhong Zhong, sorry. What? Oh. Oh! Oh, damn! Wait a minute. Oh god. Yeah, he needs to master water bending and earth. Oh, this guy, he had the water poster, I think.
Oh my god. It's kind of correct, you know, in a way. Like, Aang is kind of... Ah, true. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why. Oh, interesting. So that's why. They really explained it quite well. Oh, Roku is... <laughs> um... Yeah. Okay. They really are going to teach him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Discipline and um <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Not like that. Probably Yang. Okay. Ah. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, I am step by step. Calm down. Oh. Oh, is it? Is it Zhao? Oh! It must be. The... The pupil he's talking about. Okay. There you go. It's... Nice. Okay, patient then. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sao is here. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Oh no, don't try to do any- Oh god. He he'd probably burn down the whole house. Um, no, it's not. 
Yeah. This is not a... Oh no! Oh god! Yeah. Cut. Oh. Well, learn it you learned it the hard way. I'm really surprised why did Roku suddenly come and say that why don't you Oh god Uh Wait what's happening? Whoa it healed Wait what? Wait really? Yeah, five rings destruction. <sighs> yeah, true. Great, Zhao is here. Yeah, this must be his pupil, who we talked about. Wow! Oh, great. Hmm. Yeah. Look. Hmm, great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. You can use your fire bending and air bending and like, you know, make a bigger fire or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that so? Yeah, right. Ooh. <laughs> well, I think Zhao is forgetting that Aang is a master airbender.
Yeah. <laughs> Damn, trash talking. Nice. <laughs> okay. He's ruining him somewhere. Oh my god, they're burning his own ship. <laughs> oh my god. That's a red flag. You're bringing Zuko up. <laughs> um, and he can fly, you know? Yeah, <laughs> burning his own ship. Yeah, how are you going to go back now? What will you do? Use fire? Huh? Well. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what happened here? How does that work even? Ha! <laughs> well, that was a waste of time, Zal. Hmm. Oh, she uses water to heal, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's good water. <laughs> oh, nice. Very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Uh, is that the end? Yeah, that's the end. Okay. You know what? I really was not expecting them to actually meet a firebender so quickly. And Aang actually kind of learning it. Like, he did not learn it that much, but he kind of got the basics down. And he actually knows how to, like, you know, firebend, kind of. So the only thing that he does not, like, you know, know at all is earthbending. Like he he he's a master firebend, uh, water bend, uh, airbender. He knows water bending. Katara taught him a little bit, and like in today's episode, he got to learn fire bending a little bit as well. So yeah, I guess he can like you know you practice it in his spare time, just like Katara does. And I don't know, like unless like like firstly he needs to go and master water bending. Now one thing I was really impressed was the reason why they actually like said to learn water bending and earth bending before fire bending i thought it was just like a norm like you know like a, just a sequence there just for for like some kind of plot uh, point but it actually has a reason the reason that uh, what was the name uh jong jong it wasn't that yeah i think yeah that was the name jong jong the reason that he uh, told us is like thinking about it is quite um like it's understandable like he said that water is like like flowing you know like it's like water it's not stable so first you need to master that and then the stable thing that is earth bending you need to master that like unless and until you master both the forms that is some like a bending which act where actually the element is flowing and at the same time the bending which where the element is uh, stable water and earth bending you cannot go to fire bending because you won't be able to stop the spread spread of fire like the thing that he said like was quite impressive and it's kind of really uh, what can I say mm, like it makes sense actually that water if you keep water in, in, a, in a place it will be there 
Earth, if you keep Earth in a place, it'll be there. But fire, if you keep fire in some place, it'll start spreading. So you need more control to actually fire, uh, control fire bending than water and earth bending. So that's why like uh, fire bending is like the the thing that needs act maximum skill. So that probably means that people who are actually firebenders, they are a lot more like skilled and they have a lot more uh, training, have to do a lot more training to actually get the basics down because they like the firebenders only know firebending like avatar is a special like uh like you know ang is a special case because he's an avatar he can like you know he has to learn all the elements but the people who are actually firebenders only they have to get that thing like you know correct from the get-go to actually learn firebending uh because obviously they they don't water bend or they don't earth bend so they have to skip those two steps those three steps air bending water bending and uh, earth bending and go directly to the fire bending like it's like uh, without uh, playing the normal and hard mode you're doing the extreme mode that's basically fire benders and that kind of makes me actually realize that fire bending is probably the most uh, like you know the the bending technique that needs the most skill so yeah <sighs> and uh, okay and again in this episode we see um, you know ang's <laughs> like you know like ang's uh what do you call it like because ang is young he is a little bit what can i say impulsive you know, a little bit impulsive and as uh jong jong said that you don't have discipline and you need to learn discipline before you learn anything else so he tries to master firebending in this episode unfortunately that that's impossible to happen even though he is quite proficient in uh, bending techniques as we saw in one of the previous episode where he just learned water bending in just one day whereas katara needed like two to three months i think he said something like that so like that's why probably he learned so quickly in this episode and he was able to like you know uh, fire bend so easily but at the same time as as he, as uh, jong jong said that he needs control and to get that control he need to first master the other two elements so yeah i'm, I'm sure like i ang would probably not use fire bending after this episode unless and until he masters uh, water bending and earth bending and uh, yeah so who knows maybe we'll see uh, jong jong again in the future when ang is actually ready to fire bend and uh, yeah another thing that was i don't know what actually happened in the end so what basically happened is the villagers all of them not villagers but the people who were living there they knew not knew they got uh, notified that uh, zhao and their you know they're coming and they told jong jong and Zhang Zhang kind of like you know uh, told them a little bit. He used the fire bending trick to actually run off in the forest. And the time when they were actually stalling Zhao, the other people who were also living there, they kind of packed their bag bag and left. Like, I'm guessing, like you know, ran away from there. So they had, I'm sure they had this kind of an agreement before. Like they knew what to do. I'm sure uh, Zhang Zhang told them that if somehow, someday, any like you know, firebend, uh, like any firebender comes with some army or something and tries to uh, capture us, uh, I'll try, I'll try to stall them. And you guys, in that time, like you know, pack your bags, leave this place, go on your own way, and I'll also like take the opportunity, stall them, and disappear on my own. Like if I get a chance. I'm sure they had this kind of an agreement before they knew what they're going to do so that's why like you know uh jung jung kind of like used that fire bending trick and just disappeared <laughs> from that place and also and kind of also helped uh after that where he you know stalled zhao uh, for a few moments again and made him like you know angry he burned down his own ships and now he has to walk back home <laughs> boy <laughs> and can like you know <laughs> rile people up <laughs> oh boy like like when he brought up up uh what's the name zuko's name 
<laughs> oh my god. I'm sure Zhao got real mad at that moment. Uh, so yeah. Another big thing that happened in this episode is Katara learning how to heal. Now, so actually the way this works is not that there's no normal healing technique. She uses water to heal. Interesting. Like, you know, like only when she used, like she had, uh, like, yeah, I can kind of guess the, how, how this is happening because, you know, like she's a water bender. So just like how he can uh, freeze water, she can, I'm also guessing, use water to heal. So, like, so all of these kind of, like, you know, special abilities, little special quirks that they have, um, they are, like, the, the main thing is the elements. Like, for example, water bending, as I said, like, first you have to master, like, not master, but you have to, like, learn water bending. Then you'll get these little quirks here and there. For example, you can freeze water, maybe you can also boil water, who knows? And then you can heal using water and uh, who knows maybe like these type of things maybe there is some other like you know uh, like what can I call them like these are like um, sub talents you can say you no know? like sub talents like water bending is the main thing and then there's like these branches that go out and one of the branches is like freezing water another branches is like healing water and maybe there are some other branches as well and I wonder if this is similar to all the other elements as well maybe under air bending there's also some other branches where you can do some other stuff with air bending uh, with earth bending with fire bending some maybe some other things you can do with them uh, i'm sure there are some because uh, the only thing that we know here is like these little like sub talents under water bending like freezing water and healing water these are the two things that we know so we'll probably get to know more in the future episodes yeah and uh, thankfully like uh katara so who knows maybe uh, because katara's hand was burnt here maybe that's why his her power got activated as she said that maybe like you know i had this always but i just did not have the opportunity and did not like you know know actually how to use it and uh, yeah the thing that uh, jong jong said when talking with katara is like i always wanted this power you know the calm power of the water which can heal people as well whereas like fire only destroys so yeah sad but what else can you do <clears throat> okay is there anything else here yeah, so i'm guessing these people like you know who are living there they're going to go somewhere else now and like again go into hiding or something for some time. Maybe Jong Jong will also kind of meet up with them midway or something. I don't know. So yeah, like uh, like you know who the actual character who really helped them in this episode was that guy, um, the guy who actually saved them from the uh, town when everyone got to know that Ang is here. Uh, the guy who brought them to Jong uh, Jong Jong. So like, even though he was kind of like, I, I think he was a little bit crazy, wasn't he? Like he was kind of talking in a weird manner. Like it's kind of I don't know. Like the way he, you know, behaved was kind of I don't know what to say. But he seemed a little bit, like, you know, crazy in the head. So, but still, he really helped, you know, like he, he made the opportunity for Ang to actually go and meet uh, Zhang Zhang. And he also saved them, like that's one of the biggest thing. I don't know how they would be able to even get out of that place. So, they really helped. <laughs> and one thing I remember so Saka actually saying that, like you guys don't actually listen to me all the time and you know what i'm actually realizing that saga is right probably like all the time he says something he wants us you know and they do it anyways and saka kind of gets roped in into it and then in the end they actually realize that it was a big mistake <laughs> like you know before this saka actually like uh like, like in the episode with jet like that was one of the biggest like examples of saka actually saying stuff that actually came true 
and him, his in instincts being right and even though he sometimes wrongs so most of the time Saka is actually right you know like he says like don't do this like you know like we should not do this and Kata and Aang are like oh well let's do this anyways and then they get into trouble <laughs> and somehow get out of that trouble and Saka gets mad and Saka says that there you go didn't do like you know like didn't I say that this is going to happen like <laughs> But like you know, like every like you know everything like all of these had a silver lining because in the end, like Ang and all of them kind of learned something new, similar to this episode. Like Ang learned something new, and they get valuable experience. In this episode, as we saw, like uh, Katara gets the healing powers. Maybe like you know, maybe if we listen to Saka and did not actually like you know get get into this situation, maybe Katara would not even learn healing. Now, she would have probably learned in the future, but not now. So, like, yeah, like, like, you know, these also have a silver lining because in the end, we gain more information, we get more knowledge and, you know, we become more stronger. So, yeah, that was it. So, that was, uh, that was my reaction to episode number uh, 16 of Avatar The Last Airbender. So yeah guys, uh, that was it. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.